Hello everybody, my name is Ed, and today we're unboxing this. Skadoosh, straight into Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge unboxing. Now, I was given this again by the wonderful guys at Tier Zero Games, who have very kindly decided to give us some discount codes for you lovely hogs. If you guys go to tierzerogames.com and you put in the discount code GAMEHOG5, then you guys will be able to get yourself 5% off any purchase that you guys get. So let's not waste any time, let's just get straight into this, let's open up some of these. There's some really good reprints in here. Let's see what we can find. The Kaiju Files. Foolish Burial Goods again. Why has this been reprinted for the thousandth time? Well, who cares? It's an ultra rare. It looks nice. Noble Knight Medrout. Cyber Lava. And oh my god! Straight off the bat! Topologic Gumblar Dragon. This is one of the money cards from this set and it's a really good Link 4. Oh my god, it's a great star for this. Oh, you're going right there, center. My god, what a great way to kick this off. So I was about to go through some of the things we're trying to get. Topologic Gumblar Dragon is one of them. Golden Castle, I believe, is another. There's some other reprints in here that'd be good. The Time Lords, for instance, like Sandion, the Time Lord. Summon Dice. Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon. He's cute, I like him. I like his little horns and little cyber tie. Is that a tie? I like his tie. Eater of Millions and Card Trooper Secret Rare. These are all Secret Rares and Ultra Rare, by the way. And for those of you who maybe don't know the difference between a Secret Rare and Ultra Rare, allow me to show you. So basically, an Ultra Rare looks like this. And it's very holographic and just has gold text. And this is Performage Trick Clown. Born from Draconis. Neospatian Grand Mole. Okay, we've got some Neospatians in this pack. That's really cool. So this is another Ultra Rare. Noble Knight Brothers and Iron Draw. That's a secret rare. You guys can see on this, it's got the little kind of gradient style texture. That's what makes it slightly different. I know some of you will probably already know this. This is just for those of you who maybe don't know the difference. We've got another some really cool reprints in here, like Draconic Diagram things. So let's see if we get one of them. Metal Foes Alkahest. Altergeist Hextia. I think we got one of those recently, so that's, you know, not great. Noble Knight Brothers. Unending Nightmare. Triggering Worm. Oh, I'm so triggered by this card. Oh, easy joke. Hack. Right, let's do this. Let's carry on. This is a very, very short one. There's only five cards per pack, but they are ultra and secret rare, so I can't really complain. Kyoto Waterfront. Uni Zombie. There's two of them. I don't know how that works. TG Wonder Magician, Raphium the Time Lord. I quite like the Time Lord design, so maybe I'll try making a Time Lord deck if I get enough of these. And then we've got Hibernation Dragon Secret Rare. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really liking a lot of the art on these cards. Very happy, uh, happily, very happy with Topologic Gumblar Dragon. I'm trying to say Topologic Gumblar Dragon a few times fast and also say other words is quite complicated. Iron Hands, Solemn Judgment Ultra Rare. Lovely. I do need a Solemn Judgment, so I'll put you, I'll put you there. Nice to have an Ultra Rare. Performage Damage Juggler, Trickstar Narcissus. Again. Alright, well at least it's Ultra Rare and looks nice. And Brilliant Fusion Secret Rare. I like this one. This is actually a very, very good card for Gem Knights, so very nice and secret rare. Still got a few more left. I haven't done this the way I normally do them, lifting up one half of it and doing them like everyone else does, like Team Samurai or Simo. Noble Knight, Medrout, Hayate the Earth Star, Duelist Alliance, World Legacy's Heart. Oh, lovely! A secret rare monster reborn! That's absolutely beautiful. Really happy with that. Gonna put you down there, buddy. So happy with these. I know they're not the best reprints in the world, but it's nice that Monster Reborn is actually back and off a ban list and stuff, and we can use it, and I can use a secret rare one. Dark Lord Nastum, Before Mage Trick Clown, Bottomless Trap Hole, it's a good ultra rare to have, I guess. Iron Knight and Glorious Numbers. Ah, yes, not a single number actually on this card. Magnificent. Good. This is going, it's going rather well. Let's see what else we can get. Now, I know that there is actually Baguska in here, which I had just pulled in the last video, if you guys haven't seen our other unboxings. Ooh, a dinosaur! Dinos are my thing. I've got a lovely dinosaur deck that I'm, I'm going to profile for you guys soon. Convert Contact, World Legacy's Heart again, World Legacy Discovery, and Orgoth the Relentless. Ooh, lovely secret rare there. Don't really know much about Orgoth the Relentless, but he, he looks pretty cool. Roll a six-sided die three times. No, I'm not doing that. That sounds like a faff. I'll just get Ultima Conductor Tyranno out in the field and end the duel. Am I right? I'm probably right. I'm probably wrong. Bottomless Trap Hole again. Litmus Doom Ritual. Hayata the Earth Star. Pre-preparation of rites. Try saying that five times fast. And Living Fossil. Ooh. It looks like it should be to do with dinosaurs, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. That's a shame. I could really do some more dino support cards. But I think they're about to release some. Well, they have in the OCG, but what, what are the dino wrestler archetypes? I want them in the TCG. Uni Zombie. There he is! Baguska, the terribly tired tape here. Oh, I'll put you there. I like Baguska. 
Banishment of the Dark Lords, Altergeist Manifestation, and oh, Elemental Hero Honest Neo Secret Rare. Absolutely gorgeous. Really like that. You're also going down there. Good job. You've made it to the main stage. Let's crack on with this as quickly as we can. I don't want to dick about. Don't want this to last too long. We just want this to get in, get out, shake it all about. Neo Space and Dark Panther, Preparation of Rites. Ooh, lovely. A Torrential Tribute Ultra Rare. Very nice. Tenma the Sky Star, Dark Lord Ixiel. I'm not even going to try and say that properly, but that's a lovely secret rare. I don't know how many you get. I wonder if it's different per pack, if you maybe get two or three secret rares, but it's definitely a lot of ultra rares and then the secret rare. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh, Solemn Strike Ultra Rare. That's a good one. Sorry, I'll put you down there as well. Iron Cage, Banishment of the Dark Lords. The Kaiju Files again. And oh, there he is! Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. That's a wonderful XEs to get. Really happy with that. We've got a lot of really, really good cards on here. And actually, this guy is one of the box arts. So... This is going very well. We got, in fact, we got two of the box arts, or maybe three. Is Iron Golem one of them? I think maybe he is. Damn it, I've already put him under the pile of other cards, so he's not going on the headline list. Sorry, mate. Rainbow Dark Dragon, very nice ultra rare there. Windrose the Elemental Lord. Foolish Burial Goods, uh, again. Litmus Doom Swordsman, it's one of these rituals. We've got the Litmus Doom thing, so that's good. And Card Trooper Secret Rare again. Absolutely racing through this. I'm almost sad that it's nearly over, but if you guys do want to see more of these, you can also head to the other three unboxings we've done on the channel of Dark Saviors, Flames of Destruction, Circuit Breaker, Great, Another Solemn Strike, TG Wonder Magician, Mickey and the Time Lord, Trickstar Narcissus again, Draconic Diagram! Excellent! There it is! Draconic Diagram was really, really pricey for a while because it was, well, it's a really, really good card to have, and a lot of people run three of them, but now that it's been reprinted as this, I don't know, it's probably going to go down a lot in price, but very happy to pull one of those, because it is one of the sought-after cards. Maybe I can sell it to someone for a good bit of money, because God knows I don't have any true King Draco decks or anything like that. More Time Lords. Oh, I love these designs, man, except for the weird faces. Matai on the Time Lord, Convert Contact. Pyro Rex, the Elemental Lord, again. I wonder if I can use him in my Dino deck. Probably not, but let's find out anyway. Windrose, the Elemental Lord, and Infinite Machine. Very cool. Right, still got a few more packs left. Don't worry, we're going to get through them as quickly as we can. I'm excited to see what happens for the last few packs. We've got Summon Dice again, Kaiki the Unity Star, Cyber Lava, Shura the Combat Star, very, very pretty, and Elemental Hero Honest Neos again. You're gonna go down there because your, your twin brother's already been on the stage, so why don't you get to go there? It's a good question. It's a good question, a good point well made. And like I keep saying, guys, this is all through Tier Zero games, and it's really nice to be able to encourage people who are actually selling these online that aren't just things like Amazon or things like that. So if you guys do want to buy these and support card shops, then please do go support Tier Zero Games, because they're great. They've got a good selection of Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and also things like Dragon Ball Super cards. Neo Space and Aqua Dolphin, a good Yu-Gi-Oh GX anime card there. Slash Draw, Tenma the Sky Star, Ida Ten the Conqueror Star, and oh, he's adorable! Flying Elephant! I like Flying Elephant Secret Rare. He's one of my favorites so far. Flying Elephant and Baguska the Terrible Diatapia look like they could be mates. They could just be friends. Cyber Dragon. There's one for you, Rusty. Rusty S18, one of the mods of our channel, is a Cyber Dragon wielder. Cyber El El Tanin. Jesus, that is just a face. Well, cool. Cyframe Driver, Eater of Millions, Dark Lord Ixchel again. Like I said, Rusty's a very big fan of these Cyber Dragons, and I believe there's some more Cyber Dragon support coming very soon, so that's going to be nerve-wracking, because they are FTK. Dark Lord Enchantment. What's this going to be? Ah, oh, the, the Baguska! I have a playset of Baguska now. That's really cool. You go over there. Norita, the moral leader. Nice XCs. Pumpkin carriage. Jesus, why is this here? And Metal Foes Mithrilium. Ooh, cool. I like the Metal Foes Mithrilium card. Very nice secret rare. Right, we've only got a few of these left, guys, so let's just race into the final few as quickly as we can. Bash this out. What are these? Duelist Alliance. Altergeist Manifestation, Litmus Doom Ritual, another Cyber Dragon, there you go, Rusty, can we get the playset? And Hexatrude, don't know what you do, but you can sod off, you don't look that interesting. Three more packs, including the one in my hand. Let's do this, guys, together, you and me. What are we going to get? Are we going to get something good? I bloody hope so. Neospatian Air Hummingbird, good, I think we've got all of them now. Norito the, mole, uh, Norito the Moral Leader again, Mole Leader. Unending Nightmare, Born from Draconis. Boral Guard Dragon! Amazing. Secret rare. Now, I didn't manage to get Boraload Dragon in my Flames of Destruction unboxing, which was a bit gutting, but... You, oh, sorry, it's not Flames of Destruction, is it? It's Circuit Break in my Circuit Break unboxing. That was a bit gutting, but you guys should go check out that. Flames of Destruction and Dark Saviors, because they're all fun unboxings. Dark Saviors went particularly well. Iron Hands. 
Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow. That has no effect whatsoever. That's weird. I've never seen that. Cyber L Tannin. Litmus Doom Swordsman and Hexatrude again. God damn it, I've been cheated out of this. Right, guys, this is our last Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge card. Let's open this slowly and ceremoniously. We need this to be good. We need this to be the best that we've had so far. Come on, give us something good. Fuck, it's the same guy in the Lightning Shadow again. Okay, World Legacy Discovery. Gabriel the Time Lord, cool. Pumpkin Carriage again, and... Ooh, number 67, Paradise Smasher. I'm really gutted because I thought this was going to be Tornado Dragon. And I really wanted Tornado Dragon because he's very staple. But hey, look, I got all these cards from my Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge unboxing. And heck, I am super happy with that. Thank you very much, Tier Zero, for sending me this. And this has been great. If you guys do want to get the discount, like I said at the beginning of the video, head to the link in the description below or just to Tier Zero Games and put in the code GAMEHOG5 and you guys can get 5% off any of your deals. They also do free next day delivery on most of these boxes as well. So if you guys fancy buying one for yourself, you can get it free for the next day. Perfect, isn't it? Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't, and also be sure to go and check out Luke and James Plays unboxing of this, because they got some better pulls than I did for some of them. I'm very happy with what I got, but they also got some really cool ones, so make sure you go check them out, leave them a comment, and also leave me a comment for any other things you'd like to see unboxing. We may have some more coming soon, but for now, this is going to be it until I get some more stuff through, so look forward to more gaming content coming soon, and maybe a deck profile, and maybe even a vlog of my first ever locals. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, Bizies.